Welcome to the stage, Barb Myers. Okay, so this is a picture of moi uh, on a Memorial Day weekend with Kansas Senator Lynn Rogers, who gave us a commendation for a project that we've been working on, which is the renovation of Highland Cemetery. This is said certificate. And you're probably wondering, okay, so why do I care? Well, I decided three years ago to go back to school as a student um, to get my grad uh, certificate, in other words, my master's in local history. And one of the projects that I started working on was uh, finding out who was buried at Highland Cemetery because it's the oldest cemetery in Wichita. In the process of doing that, I decided, you know, I should share this information. So I started giving tours. I started uh, showing people around and realized, you know, there's a lot of work that needs to be done. You can't read some of the stones. Uh, so they're broken, they're, and we'll go over that in a minute. But uh, so then basically after that, I formed a nonprofit, just a little thing, uh, decided to go ahead. And so what we do is clean stones, fix stones, renovate stones. Um, so I'm really proud of the work that my, myself and my volunteers do, but I'm not here just to talk about that, I'm talking about the cemetery. Uh, the cemetery was platted in 1868, and uh, which of course was before the cemetery, or excuse me, before the uh, city was a city. Um, he, Henry Smith got the land. His house would have been right on the corner, right next to the cemetery. Um, this is one of the city founders children's cemetery, uh, excuse me, graves. And in uh, 1982, the city got, uh, property got, excuse me, got possession of the cemetery. And a few years later, those stones were broken and stolen. Just a couple of years ago, they were refound. And one of the things that we did is we rebuilt the stone. Um, so I'm really proud of that. Also, as I said, the city actually does take care of that cemetery now. But there's still a lot of undergrowth. There's a lot of trees. There's a lot of, so when we went in and we're doing some of the work that we do, we realized, you know what, there's some graves underneath some trees here, could you move them? So they did, and we found 24 stones underneath four trees, and you, you could not see them from the outside. So there's a lot of work to be done. Um, my point for doing this, though, is historical preservation. People contact me and say, hey, I found this stone. This one was found in somebody's backyard. This is the one I was going to bring with me. Just so you know, the pieces are very lightweight. The stone itself is not. <laughs> uh, this is another one that we found. We knew that it was there. A family member said, can you find it? It was about six inches underground. We found the stone, and since then we have brought it up to where it's actually above the ground. Uh, this is all stuff that we just do on our own time. We, it doesn't cost anything. It doesn't take any time. This is Buffalo Bill Mathewson and his uh, second wife, Caroline. Uh, that's one that we're trying to find family for because we're wanting to clean it. So that's another thing that we do. This is Darius Munger. He's one of the uh, city founders and we're wanting to clean it. Um, the main thing though is that we have to find family and we have to have their permission to do so. We can't just walk in and start working on them even if we know their entire story. They're founders of Wichita. This is another one, uh, Nathaniel English. Uh, we can't just walk in and start doing it. We have to have permission. So uh, what this spike you're seeing next to some of these are is uh, the Chisholm Trail 150th anniversary is, is this year. And so that committee went out and marked some of the founders of Wichita, which was nice because there were a lot of them that we had cleaned. So it kind of looked good for us too. But uh, Griffin Stein's another one. And again, Buffalo Bill, I apologize. I did put the same one in twice, but it's that important. <laughs> there you go. But we really, we almost have uh, approval on this one to clean it. So actually I'm pretty excited about that because I'm mean, Buffalo Bill, come on. So this is some of my committee. This was the first stone we ever finished. We, we dug the base out of the ground. This is one of the stones that we found. Um, we put it on top, we glued it back on and we started taking pictures. Um, no, we were very, very proud of ourselves that day. That was the first one we finished. And this is the one we're gonna be working on this weekend. Um, we, we do this about once a month, takes about four hours, and yes, it is very hot out there, but we do have family permission. This is a city founder, and we are gonna be putting it all back together. So this is me doing the work I do, and um, 
This Place Matters is a, 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 a slogan used by the National Trust for Historical Preservation, and they allowed us to use it on Facebook logos and such. If anyone would like more information about what we do, I'm not doing this as a business. I will have brochures out during the break. Other than that, thank you very much for your time. Thank you.